How you guys doing? Once again, I'm Chris Ignato, and this is my YouTube channel. Now, you're going to probably find this next beetle really interesting, because I do. It's one of my favorite beetles in this country, and it's the six-spotted tiger beetle. I think it's called Cincindala sexquitata. Do not know if I'm pronouncing that correctly. So, I've had to put it inside a tank in order to film it, because this creature moves so fast, it goes blind. It literally gets tunnel vision, and it just sees a little focused point in front of it and has to stop to get its bearings. Um, kind of like a drag strip racer. When you're going super fast, all you see is this little point in front of you. Really impressive. And uh, it looks really ferocious, but it's not quite as ferocious as it really looks. Come on, check this beetle out. Amazing stuff. Now, believe it or not, tiger beetles roam around hunting for prey or lie in wait, but they return to their burrows at night, the same burrow in which they emerged from as a baby. That's pretty neat. I never knew that until I read that. Now my friend Mac actually told me that he witnessed a tiger beetle once standing atop the cone of an antlion and it reached down in there and actually snatched up the antlion and ate it. Mac's theory was the combination of the long legs and those long jaws allowed it to do so. Um, and just by looking at those long legs you can tell this is a fast running insect. So I bet those, those long legs also keep it off those hot sands. Now, they get the name six-spotted tiger beetles because of those six white spots, but that can vary. Um, they're generally green, which is their other name, the green tiger beetle. I generally find them in patches of sunlight, but that's where they stand out. They catch that sunlight and just throw it right back at you. They're so marvelously shiny. And their legs can be a metallic blue, too, at times. They do tolerate one another, but they're generally solo predators. The only time I really see two of them together is when they're mating. So get this, uh, last year I think it was, I saw an all black tiger beetle with a white face. The face was white and those jaws were white and it looked like the Punisher. It was really cool. And uh, another thing I learned about them is the males, after mating, they'll stand on the backs of the females for a little while uh, to drive off other males for competition. Go figure. Anyways, back to the video. Now, they, they feed on insects and spiders and caterpillars. They'll chase them down, but they also like to ambush their prey also. Tiger beetles also fly. I discovered that one out the hard way, trying to film one of these a couple years ago, and it flew away on me. But they will actually grab prey out of the air also. So there are dangers above the ground and on the ground. Okay, this is going to sound funny, but I have a theory. See all those points on its jaws? I actually think they'll distribute the pressure, kind of like a snowshoe on the snow, distributing the weight. I don't think it'll hurt that much if they actually bite. Not that I encourage it, but I know that this guy's a little aggressive. If I just... Oh. <laughs> no! Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't hurt at all. That is a surprise. It feels like a foot or something. Go figure. What are the odds that would actually bite me while I'm talking about it? That's pretty cool. Wait. Don't fly away. Don't fly away, man. He looks like he's going to fly away. So what do you think? Pretty interesting beetle, isn't it? Love this thing. So anyhow, thanks a lot for watching, guys. I'm Chris Ignato, signing out.